nationally and here in the upstate, activists are criticizing the immigration policy and the way it's being enforced by the Trump administration. They call them inhumane. 7 News' Stephanie Bornman has that story tonight. Stephanie. Crossing the border into the U.S. illegally has been a federal misdemeanor offense for a long time. So you may be asking yourself, okay, well, what's changed? Upstate immigration activists argue the practice to separate families is causing irreversible damage to children. Broken families at the border. Sarai Bautista says it's an issue that's plaguing the country, and she's raising awareness about immigration practices here in the upstate. And just because we don't see them, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't care about them. In May alone, more than 650 children were taken from their families caught trying to illegally enter the U.S., according to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. This is a phenomenon that's been going on for a long time. It's not new under President Trump, but it has increased tremendously. The zero tolerance policy has ramped up the number of families getting separated. When adults are detained, they are charged with a federal offense, not the children traveling with them, making separation inevitable. So while parents are behind bars, children sit in foster homes, as determined by the Office of Refugee Resettlement. Ilsa Muniz, a social worker in Greenville County, says the practice traumatizes minors. They don't understand what's happening in a country they don't know with people they aren't familiar with. That just bars the child completely from the opportunity to be able to see their, their parent or their loved one again. While the immigration separation practice doesn't apply to those seeking asylum, Jeff Sessions has made it known domestic abuse and gang violence don't qualify as asylum. Immigration paralegal Meg Randall says people fleeing from broken countries with governments that don't support them shouldn't be punished for seeking safety. As defenders of human rights, as Americans um, who stand for human rights across the globe, it becomes our responsibility to help them um, and to extend those protections to them. Stephanie, we have a lot of things involved here, law, family, safety, a lot of things entering into all of this, but another big issue here is we're hearing children are missing. Some have gone missing. What have you found out about that? So the Office of Refugees Resettlement, um, they actually are part of a bigger department, and mm -hmm. they've come out and said that the rumors about children being lost after they're taken from their families yeah. is actually not true. They yeah. do follow up with the people who they are released to, so they know where these kids are. Well, uh, an issue that still needs to be untangled and solved. Yeah, Stephanie, absolutely. Thank you.